Kent Bullard. What's up, dude? How you doing? Hey, man. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Oh, I am fantastic. Fantastic. I do have to spend the rest of the day putting up with David, so... I'm sorry. Just legitimately, I my yeah, heart goes out to you. Talking? Yeah. It is Friday. We have a few more cars to leave today, and then we're done. You know, we home. just hit we just hit our record for one week. We're at forty four thousand right now, and we're not done yet. Whoa! So that's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, it's called Lucas needed to pay the bills. We were <laughs> gone for two weeks, so we had to do something. <laughs> it became very important to get some work out. Yeah. So, uh, so Kent, uh, we're talking Apex today. You've been yeah. to Apex, right? Yes, I have. Been to Apex? Um, I think this is going to be my fourth time. Nice. I think nice. this is my fourth time. So yeah. you know, David and I went for the first time. David, you hadn't been before, had you? Before last year? No, it's my first time. Yeah, it's last insane. year was the first time I had ever been. Dude, it's I, I want to hear your reaction. What was what was your reaction the first time you saw the show? overwhelming in the best way because you've got SEMA there and you've got apex you've got the training you've got all the cool bells and whistles and all the cool cars and um and then you're in vegas so it's a nice playground too you know exactly dude it is intense i'm excited it's coming up you know you say it's friday i i think it's friday too soon this week went by too quick we're getting prepped for apex right Right, so you got you guys will be at Apex again. Have you got a booth? If you are you training classes? Yeah, we're going to be what right next got, that you guys yeah. are doing. We've got a booth there. Um, we're going to be right next to Joe's Garage. Uh, right. We're going to be in the camp section. So the Coalition of Automotive Management Professionals they've got their own section there. We've got a booth there. Really? Uh huh. And then so, uh, go ahead. So what is what is camp? What is the Coalition of Automotive Management Professionals? Tell us a little bit about. Well, it. it's ex- exactly that. It's a bunch of guys like myself, my dad. Um, you got like Bill Haas, you know, those, those guys who've come together to yeah. say, okay, what can we do to help the industry on, as us, right? As trainers, right. as consultants. As, and so that formed a couple years ago, we started doing that. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're all headed out to Apex. What would you say to the person who's listening to this, who's never been to Apex before, and they're on the fence about it, right? Like, they're they're kind of trying to make some if, decisions. Oh, my gosh. Go. If, if you haven't, like, if you, if you haven't gone to any show, this is probably the show you should go to. Okay. Because it's going to have the most there and the most variety. Yeah. So you actually have... Not only the training, like I like I said earlier, you've got all of these different things that you can kind of come and check out and enjoy on top of training, which is highly valuable, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and and I agree with you. You know, I, I recorded a promo for him this morning, and and we were we were talking about what did we want it to be, and, and everything we do, we try and share from our personal experiences, right? Yeah. And so for years, people had said to me, "You've got to go to Apex. You got to go, even if you just go once. You got to go." You got to go once. And I figured it out, right? The The secret is, is if you go once, you're going to go again. There's no way around it. You will go next year if you go that one time to Apex. And the reality is, is like the reason they all say you've got to go is because there's no words to describe it, right? Like it, it is so unreal. It is so huge. And like we've been, we all go to the smaller trade shows. We go to the Vision. We go to the mm-hmm. AST. We go to all of these smaller events. Oh, but I mean, this is like next level. Dude, Dude, it is. This doesn't hold a candle in the wind, man. This is crazy. Yeah. David, what do you think? Why do you think think it gets so big? Like, why do you think that that Apex is the size that it is? Does it it just attract everybody or like every manufacturer's there already at SEMA? And so they're like, we're going to set something up for Apex. Not only that, but they're bringing in, they're, they're bringing in a lot of people that you're not going to see at some of the smaller shows. Yeah. I mean, like you get you're again, you've you've got like everything. If you're talking automotive industry, they're there. It's there. It's there. Everything will be there. Um, and I think they've just continued to grow and they have that status of like one of the biggest shows. So if you're gonna go, you're gonna experience a lot. And I, I would say that if you're going to go, plan to go for the whole time. Because yeah. there is so much there to go and see that you owe it to yourself to spend the time in, in, in all of those different areas and definitely and come and check out shoes. Yeah. Wear comfortable shoes, drink a lot of water and come check out Cecil's class, uh, advanced sales teaching? success. Advanced it's going to be service writing. Success. Yeah. Nice. You guys are, you guys are probably one of the few left that still teach service advising. Everybody else has kind of gone the, 
the owner class direction and that and and a, a really awesome ethical class man I've, I've been through that class and you know that's a big deal for us as we we want to make sure that what we're teaching our service advisors is ethical and and moral and doing the right thing for the client so uh kudos exactly. on that you know it's it definitely hits that mark for sure are they gonna have a globe done you think the globe there was a globe Maybe. they were building a globe see kent remembers oh, yeah i don't pay they that much. Maybe? A i don't know globe. I think it was enormous. Was it? It was right outside the hotel. La- yeah. Last year oh, I didn't yeah, get you're right. Yeah. Last year I didn't get out much because I was running the booth and stuff. Um, we're gonna have a bigger team there this time, so it'll be nice. I can actually walk around and check out stuff. But That's uh, cool. yeah. If Absolutely. if you guys if you guys you know haven't checked it out and who whoever's listening, you should definitely come check out Apex. Yeah. I agree with yep. you 110%. We'll be there. Uh, David, anything you want to add? Anything you want to share? I just want to see if the the globe's going to be done. <laughs> He's it's really, really, really worried about globe that is? globe. It's a theater, and they play like this. The video plays over your head and behind you, and then they have like the surround sound oh. thing. It's supposed to be a crazy experience. It's we'll enormous. have to go do that. David won't be there this year. David, yeah, I, I'll I'll experience the globe for you, David. Yeah, and will you shoot some video and like upload yeah. it? I want to. Well, will maybe I don't know if they'll let me do that. Yeah, Kent picks up his phone and drops it to the bottom of the. I just get tackled, <laughs> 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 sir. No recording. Okay, I, I'm wondering if it's going to be uh, like an IMAX experience, just on steroids. Yeah. So I'm we, you know, we went to like. one of those in Gatlinburg, right? We went to one of those. They have a globe. Really cool. Be- yeah, because it picks you up and it moves you, and you're flying through the air and everything. Yeah. It's it's really cool. I don't see. I don't think it's a 4D thing though. I think they they're gonna be like. I, I think it's. Are, are they gonna like know. spray musty water in your face? <laughs> <laughs> that was David. <laughs> like, why, why wind machines. Spray musty water. Do you know <laughs> how much weight I lost walking from the hotel to the f- to the venue? <laughs> it was like a two mile walk every day. He's, and you just he's get up so in the morning, upset. you would just walk. I, he's he was so upset. He's was, like, dude, my jeans stop. My jeans are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking <laughs> about? For you thin folk, what you don't understand is that your thighs tend to rub together, <laughs> I, and so. You have to be really I careful because <laughs> it's it, it's you got to wear like durable friction. jeans and friction. yeah, fr- the friction becomes a thing. And then it's it's Vegas, so you're like, oh, it's November. It shouldn't be 85. No, it's 85, and See, so it's hot. 85 this is, is hot. Why, this is why I went and got myself a, a special pair of shoes for trade shows. Every time I take oh, a, yeah. a step, it goes whoo and just blows on my foot <laughs> really nicely. <laughs> Aren't those that does you it got make the that water noise in? Too? It does every <laughs> s- every step. <laughs> Didn't you get the water in the shoes? <laughs> you were I did. You said like we stepped on like water and it sucked water up when we were at ASTE. That was fun. That was fun. Yep. Um, so it's a two mile walk from your hotel. I just want to make sure everybody understands. It's well, see, the, no, walk. that's why you got to get in the hotel. Of the event center, like myself, what, is the Venetian. Yeah, isn't that the Venetian? So we were, where where did we stay? The Mirage. Yeah, we were in the Mirage. So they, which they I had, don't mind. I hey like man, any walk. any time you have to walk in Vegas, it's a long walk. Yeah, but the problem the problem really was is that David traditionally walks slow. He's not used to high speed walking, and so I walk fast. I'm a normal walker. And, and so, like, normal David, walker, man, like I keep speed. looking back, and I'm like, who is this old man waddling behind me? <laughs> I will say David. I've noticed that, Lucas. Lucas always has, like, anytime I see him, he's rushing somewhere. I, I just yeah. walk fast. I'm not rushing. I'm not in a hurry. I just no, walk No, you fast. are. You're flying. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, if, I'm the he, one who he, doesn't want to talk walking, to anybody. And Well, I, I have a scowl on my face. That's what I do. But what he does is he looks like he's super busy. And he's trying to go somewhere. He's got nowhere to go. He's just walking with intention. <laughs> he's got nowhere to go. He's walking with intention. And so nobody stops him and says, hey, how you doing? And nobody does it you because they're like, oh, he's got to be somewhere. And he's just. I lost five most, pounds uh, trying to catch up to Lucas at what? ASD. One of the most memorable <laughs> things I've ever seen or ever had anyone in my life ever do was at Apex. And so this last year was in the middle of the pandemic, right? 
and the all of these places have mask requirements. And so David carries the same cup around. It's completely empty. It's been empty for days. <laughs> and he's carrying this cup around. You just and the security the guards mask. come up and talk to him. And they're like, hey, can you put your mask on? And David's like... <laughs> <laughs> I am a thirsty boy, and so I had to walk around with a big cup of whatever. And the entire time I was there, if I was walking from one place to the other, I made sure to carry a cup. But all that's gone. They're like, oh, yep. that's over yep. it's with. Done. It's done. It's not over. a not it's an over. issue with the restaurants. Our choice there. They are fantastic. Oh, my oh, gosh. No. And the, so, but it is crazy <clears throat> expensive. We got we got spoiled the last time we were in Vegas because my dad, I hate the man. He's so good at poker and blackjack. He just like, he, he's like, yeah, they couldn't get in my hotel room. So I went and played for like an hour. He comes back with his fat stack. He's like, hey, do you guys want to go to dinner? I was like, yeah, of course. So we went to this really, really nice restaurant. Had uh, probably one of the best meals of my life. Uh, you know, listen, if I come back from playing poker, I'm going to be asking to borrow some money to get myself out of the hawk, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to do that. You know, and, and listen, there is in, I want to say it's in the event hotel, there is a little restaurant and it was the coolest thing ever. Uh, Anthony Mercury from Auto Shop Solutions is the one who brought it up. He said, listen, these restaurants out here have something very unique you won't find anywhere in the country. And he said, it's fat washed bourbon. And he said, so they, they take the bourbon and they oh. heat up all this, like in this, in this case, it was duck fat, right? They heat up the duck fat and they pour the bourbon into it and they let it sit and it completely changes the flavor and pulls the other alcohols out of it. So you just have ethyl alcohol. And so it's this really smooth, really unique flavor. And then they made old fashions with it. And I mean, I'm telling you, I'm, I, I, I've so I'm going to be that flavor ever putting since. Putting that on dude. my uh, agenda. Yeah. Which what restaurant is that? I want to say it again? was the Bird Cage or something like that. Do you, David, do you remember what the name of that little Asian uh, restaurant in the? No, I don't remember. Okay. But that well, sounds about it was right. Good. We'll find it. Is it we'll the Bird Bar? It. Bird Bar, Bird Cage, Bird something. It was Bird. You want to be yeah, careful looking stuff like that up. Oh, though. maybe you need not. to be very cautious in Vegas. <laughs> I'm just going to turn Google off for a minute now. I <laughs> know, right? Incognito. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you guys yeah, at Apex. Yeah. Absolutely. It'll be a ton of fun. We can't wait to see you there. Um, and, uh, yeah, absolutely. It looks like it is going to be a blast. And uh, you give everybody your advice. Wear nice, cushy shoes. Drink a it lot should of be water. Packed. Yeah. It's going it to be packed. Yeah. packed. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, I, I thought it, the event was an enormous and yeah. everybody kept telling me, oh, you haven't seen anything. Wait nope. till you see yeah. it when it's full. This is a sea of people where you see floor now. There's no floor. It's just, you know, shoulder to shoulder yep. people. So um, that's not that appealing to me. <laughs> and it's it's November 1st through 3rd, right, is, is Apex itself. Uh, David will put a link down below in the video. So you can go and register. We hope to see all of you guys there. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to be there recording podcasts. We'd love to get you on the show. Come by, say hello, and we'll get you guys set up. Awesome. Okay. Great. Bye, Kent. Bye, David. See you guys. See you.